got married in January of 2016. I ended up uh, leaving my husband on August 3rd of last year, 2017, and my counselor was amazing in helping me realize that he was abusive. So there was a lot of financial abuse in my marriage. I had no spousal support from him. My, I'm a piano teacher and my business was cut down 75% because of a change to a studio I made because of him trying to isolate me. So the sliding scale here at the Refuge Center has been amazing for me. I feel like therapists here at the Refuge Center are really good about meeting people where they're at. And that's the reason I've been able to come once a week. It's been a crazy process and I ended up living at Bridges actually for several months. The connection that the Refuge Center has with Bridges is phenomenal. He put a tracker in my car and things got really scary. And I think that's a fear that a lot of women have who've left an abusive relationship is they, they feel like I'm gonna get into another relationship and it's gonna be the same thing. I feel like the education of knowing what goes on in abusive relationships and that cycle is mind blowing. Also through the education that I've gotten working with my therapist and reading the books and doing the work that I have done, I'm able to see patterns. And one of the biggest things was realizing that boundaries are something that abusers really don't like. And that's something I can use in the future to say, okay, how does this person relate to boundaries? How do they respect me? It has taught me a lot about myself, which I feel like makes what I contribute in the world more meaningful to me and has totally changed the trajectory of my life from what it was before. I found hope through counseling because I realized that I am not alone because of the support that I've been given through Bridges, through the Refuge Center. Hope grows at Refuge because you are not alone in whatever you're going through. There are people to walk through that with you here at the Refuge Center. Thank you.